In order to solve the issue of smallholder farming at primary level is aggregation, productivity, yield, structured market, and structured finance. And under the National Technical Assistance Pillar, that is exactly what we are trying to do. The issue is this. The Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development is designed to create policies. And all of us are supposed to operate within that policy. The job of the banks and other agribusiness players is to look at the bottom line and be driven by their profit motive. Therefore, it's essential for a third party to step into that ecosystem, put everybody together at a round table, look at the market, get quantity, get pricing, structure the domestic market or international market, then work backwards down the value chain and organize primary production in a value chain manner. And the other thing that I want to announce here is the fact that we are also planning to replace the aging farmer population with a successful farmer generation. It's very important for us to put our youth into new, modern, sexy agriculture and agribusiness. Otherwise, in the next 5, 10, 15 years, there is no way these elderly parents and grandparents in the rural areas can do agribusiness as we know it. But guess what? Just like the minister said, in one season, farmers have been able to make a net income of 1.5 million uh, naira. But the question is, there are so many components of the value chain where you can apply the youth. When you say youth go and do agriculture, it doesn't mean that go and do one and cutlass farming. You can actually create a value chain model where some youth will specialize only in input supplies. Some will specialize in mechanization services. Some will specialize in actual non-preparation. Some will be involved in actual production. Some have nothing to do with production, but they will be involved in aggregation, preservation of value. Some have nothing to do with that. They will be involved in packaging, branding, delivery, science and technology. This is the only way you can get the youth involved in agriculture. Break down the value chain, segment it, create financing framework for each segment of that value chain, create the profit motive, then I can tell you, human nature is said that you don't need to talk. Create a net profit scenario and Nigeria's agribusiness will fix itself. By the way, we just had a meeting last week with the president of the Property Association of Nigeria. He indicated that the processing mill industry, and I'm sure Mr. Abeko is here from Olam, they will also corroborate that fact. The food mill industry alone requires hundreds of thousands of metric tons of maize, soybean, and some other additives. For God's sake, what stops us from organizing these young people, structuring them, and saying, look, guys, this year, 2017, 2018, some of you will do soybeans, some of you will do maize, we will create risk management framework, we will create financing framework, we are going to link you to market. You get off-take price that is not driven by the merchant. You take off-take price that is determined by industry. And I tell you what, all our use, it doesn't matter whether you're a secondary school dropout, a, part, a student in, uh, in the university, or a, a post-NYC student. The beauty of agriculture is it can absorb the stack illiterate as well as the professor. Bottom line, do we need to feed 200 million people? Yes. Do we have the dollars to import food anymore? No. Can we supply the West African market as well as parts of North Africa and the Gulf countries? Yes. These are the fundamentals. These are the fundamentals. The only way we can do that, I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, is the profit motive. Can we create models that create shared value along the value chain? Not a situation where a single element in that value chain accumulates all the profits and leaves the other participants in the value chain at poverty level. If we can create a scenario where every person knows his role and you know your cost and you are rewarded commensurate with your effort, I can tell you there is no need for the Honorable Minister of Agriculture, Honorable President Buhari, to be scratching the head on how to solve agri. Let them give us policy, let them give us trade structure that protects us. And let those 200 million people buy Nigerian food, eat Nigerian food, and grow Nigerian food. We can make it work. So, the key thing, ladies and gentlemen, is that we have got to work in a structured, project-driven environment. We cannot be talking about policy, seminars, and workshops. Let's decompose all those things into tangible projects. Let's work with the NABG. Let's work with Emmanuel Ejewere and whatever he represents. Let's all come to a round table and decompose all the policy statements of the government 
into tangible projects and let's get our young people to drive it and let's make sure after every growing cycle of four months, five months, six months of serial club, every young person has a net positive cash flow of 1.5 to 3 million naira in his pocket.